Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Game Boy Advance into the PSP. The Game Boy Advance is one of my favorite gaming consoles. There are three variations of the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Advance SP, and the Game Boy Micro. Out of the three, the Game Boy Micro is my favorite as it has a backlit screen but due to the size, it can be a bit uncomfortable after playing for a long time. Alternatively, you could do an IPS mod on your Game Boy Advance. Today, I'm going to show you a cheaper alternative by installing a Game Boy Advance emulator onto your PSP. Before we start, we need to ensure that your PSP is running on custom firmware. If you are not sure how to install custom firmware, click the link on the top right hand. Next, download the GPA for PSP from the first link in the description. Download and unzip the file using 7-zip or WinRAW. To extract the file, just drag the file onto your desktop. Double click the folder. Inside the folder, I've included a readme file with all the instructions needed to get you going. Open the GPA folder. Open the ROMs folder. I've included three homebrew games inside this folder. This will be the folder where you put all your Game Boy Advance games. If you have more ROMs, you will place it inside this ROMs folder. Here I will transfer Pokemon Ruby and Metroid Zero Fusion. Make sure your ROMs are in GPA format. Next, we will access your memory card. My memory card is on F drive but yours could be different. Open up PSP, open up the game folder. Copy the GPA to PSP from your desktop to the game folder. Safely eject your memory card. Let's jump over to the PSP. Insert your memory card into your PSP. Turn on your PSP. As always, we need to run the recovery flasher. This is to ensure that we are back on custom firmware. Once it's done, click on the GPA emulator. This will take you to the game menu with all your games listed. Select the game that you want and press circle to load. Here we select Metroid Zero Fusion. The game is stretched compared to the original, which is a small trade-off for the picture quality that you are getting with the PSP. Playing on the PSP is definitely more comfortable than playing on the Game Boy Advance SP. The in-game controls are slightly different. Button X is A, but circle button is B, shoulder button R is R, shoulder button L is L, triangle is start, square is safe state, start is fast forward, and the home button is to exit the game. I also like the fast forward function where you can overclock the game so that you can play it faster. This can be done by pressing the start button. Let's do some screen comparison. The Game Boy Micro is using the AGS101 screen. Next to the TFT, you can see that the TFT is a little bit washed out. If you wish to exit the game, click the home button on your PSP. It will take you to the settings menu where you can exit or load a new game. Let's load the Pokemon Ruby. If you have played this game on the original Game Boy Advance, you would know how frustrating it is to play this in the dark. There's also a lot of dialogue that you need to sit through. And if you're playing this on the Game Boy Advance SP, it can get uncomfortable especially if you have big hands. Playing on the PSP means that you have a backlight screen that you can play at night. You can overclock the PSP by pressing start so that the game runs faster. The PSP is comfortable for long hours of playing. And just like the Game Boy Advance SP, they are not powered by AA's battery. The PSP is more than 10 years but I still play it on a regular basis. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel as it will help the channel grow. We just crossed 150 subscribers and I'm very grateful for all your support. As always, I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.